Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily import a Microsoft Project schedule into Project to the Web. So Microsoft Project obviously is a desktop application we had forever. Uh, that's the application that, uh, you know, usually project managers utilize to manage, you know, complicated projects with uh, resources, dependencies, uh, and, and so on, and there are many, many other features available uh, within uh, this wonderful application. Now, obviously, the new and modern way to manage such projects uh, would be in Project for the Web, which is essentially a web-based web you know, uh, version uh, of the application. Uh, with that being said, before you really import uh, you know, let's say you want, um, you know, to manage all the projects in the cloud using Project for the Web. One thing to keep in mind is that um, they're quite different in terms of feature set. When you import a Microsoft project uh, into Project for the Web, you are going to lose, um, you, you know, uh, some of the features, not all, but some of the features you're used to with Microsoft Project. And uh, hopefully it's just a matter of time, but at the moment, obviously, there are lots of, you know, more capabilities from project management standpoint available in the desktop version compared to the Project for the Web. But in any case, obviously, Project for the Web allows you to, you know, collaborate and write and you get the benefits of it being in the cloud and you can collaborate with your, um, you know, team members on tasks and, uh, and chat and, you know, store documents uh, thanks to SharePoint and Microsoft 365 groups and teams. So long story short, you decided to import a project for the web, uh, Microsoft project into a project uh, for the web. So here's how you do it. Obviously, you know, here's what my Microsoft project uh, looks like uh, on the desktop. And I'm going to import this file. You just click new project, import a project. And essentially, yeah, it's just telling you what I just told you. All right, you're going to lose some of the capabilities, all right? When you import, so you just choose the uh, uh, Microsoft MPP file. Here it is from my uh, desktop. And that's pretty much it. All right. Well, almost. Uh, all right. Essentially, it's uh, right now just giving me a summary of what was imported. And it kind of tells me, um, you know, what has happened along the way. For example, it, it tells me here all the resources were removed. All right. Remember how I had resources assigned? And the reason for that is because Project for the Web, um, you know, relies on its own you know, resource management, right? Project for the Web is part of the Microsoft 365 group. So whoever the group members are, these are the people you can assign tasks to. So if you had, I don't know, like 25 people here in uh, Microsoft, you know, project, uh, you're not going to be able to see them. You will need to reassign essentially the tasks according to the group membership you have. Uh, so you just click OK. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And then, of course, from this point on, right, you can... Uh, you can make, uh, you know, whatever changes you want to make, um, you know, from, um, you know, your project standpoint, change the title, you know, dates, you know, assign and columns and so on. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it. So, yeah, hopefully you learned uh, something new in this particular video. I really like this option. Um, if you have lots of schedules in, uh, you know, those uh, uh, Microsoft Project MPP files and want to quickly replicate the schedules in the cloud, uh, very, very easy uh, way for you, uh, you know, to do so. Uh, again, thanks uh, again for watching and hope to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Goodbye.